Bellator welterweight champ Rory McDonald moves up to middleweight to take on Gegard Mousasi in Bellator's first super fight. With the welterweight tournament also on the horizon, Ariel, is Rory biting off more than he can chew? I must say, as a fellow Canadian, I am insulted on behalf of the Canadian psycho that the voice of God would contemplate whether or not he is biting off more than he can chew against Gegard Mousasi. Are you kidding me? This is why he came to Bellator. This is why he made the leap. This is why he made the jump. You know what's amazing about this fight, Chael? The amazing thing is, between both guys combined, they have one UFC title fight. That's, that's borderline criminal. These are two of the best fighters in the world. I would argue two of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And you know what's so great about it? It's so great because in my opinion, with all due respect to my co-host, my partner in crime, who I love oh so dearly, I think this is the best fight in Bellator history because it's, it's, it's the first time, it represents the first time that Bellator has two champions in two different weight classes that they could say are better than the UFC's champions, right? Gegard Mousasi, Robert Whitaker, you could say Gegard's better than Robert Whitaker. You can, you can make that argument. Roy McDonald versus Tyra Woodley, you could say Roy McDonald's better than Tyra Woodley. Guess what? They fought at UFC 174 and Roy McDonald won that fight in Vancouver, British Columbia. It is such a great fight. It is so intriguing. And yes, let's be honest, Roy's going up. He told me on Monday he only weighs 190, so he only has to cut five pounds. He expects to weigh 190 come fight time. Uh, Gegard has fought at 205, but Rory is just a bit of a different kind of cat. He's the kind of guy who talks about going up to heavyweight. He wanted to be a part of your Grand Prix at heavyweight. That's just the way he is. So if you look at his schedule and you say, okay, he's fighting Gegard, and he's also scheduled to fight John Fitch in the first round of the welterweight tournament, this is a lot. But this is specifically why he came to Bellator. He wanted to be active. He wanted fun fights. He wanted title fights. He got one against Lima. Now he get one against Gegard Mousasi in a different weight class. This is what he wanted. He asked for this. So I would, I would, I would counter to the voice of God that you should never, ever, ever doubt the Canadian psycho. And Ariel, I'll, I'll see your points on uh, Rory's willingness, and I'll raise you a fact that he calls me constantly for grappling matches, and he got in a dispute with Scott <laughs> Coker because he's trying to go over and do bare-knuckle boxing in the meantime, okay? <laughs> the guy isn't right in the head, and there's a fine line between genius and insanity. This is a guy that won a world championship on one leg, all right? This is just a very special guy. I would love to know the backstory between him and Musasi. Nobody asks to fight Gegard Mousasi. You fight him when you have to. Nobody asks to fight Rory McDonald. You fight him when you have to. These guys asked, they demanded, they doubled down, they tripled down, they went to the media. This got very personal. I'd love to know the backstory. I don't feel they've done a great job of telling it. To the point that you made earlier about this being the best fight in Bellator history, the best fight that Scott Coker has ever signed, I fully agree with you. The second that Gegard uh, came to the UFC, or I apologize, came from the UFC, I was going, wait a minute, what if he and Rory end up together? You know, because Coker was kind of into that. M match the big guys up. You don't have to just keep them in weight classes as we're seeing here. We've been able to get some great parody out of these matches. I love this contest. I think it's the biggest. And, don't, you know, don't forget, it's got a supporting cast on it. It's really a very special night. If I may go back now that I have digressed there. Yes. Is... Uh, Rory biting off more than he can chew. Eric, I don't think so. I think I'm with you on that. You know, everybody works a little bit differently. One of the last things that I like to do as an athlete is to focus. But coaches will always tell you, you've got to focus, you've got to focus. No, I love a distraction. I love to have an injury going into a fight. I love to not feel great going into a fight. I love to have another fight lined up that I can think about that one too. I just don't like to focus. There's a sports psychologist will tell you about something called paralysis by analysis, where if you sit and you focus on something too much, you just freeze up, you're not loose. Every athlete needs to learn what works best for him. I can just tell you, observing Rory McDonald, it appears the fuller that plate is, the better. And you know what's so fun about this as well, Chael, is that one of Rory's mentors is George St. Pierre. And a year ago, he attempted, in, in many respects, to do a very similar thing. Now, he wasn't the welterweight champion when he moved up, but he did move up to 185, he did win, but he said afterwards that he got sick, that he got colitis, that he would never do that again, that he did it the wrong way. So here's Rory sitting back at TriStar, observing this, watching this, and able to learn from George's mistakes, and able to do it himself while being the welterweight champion. So it's almost like, all right, you know, teacher, you did it, let me do it better than you. 
He just beat Douglas Lima in January in a phenomenal fight, same card that you fought on against Rampage Jackson. And then he comes back against Gegard Mousasi while also having a tournament fight book. This is amazing stuff from Roy. I mean, this is throwback kind of stuff. If he could go, you know, 2 0 in his last two fights with wins over Douglas and, and Gegard Mousasi, you could stack that resume up against anyone in the UFC. And again, I would say, this is a big deal for Bellator because this is the first time they could say their champions are better than the UFC's champions. Are you working this card, Chael? Are you working? Can I answer? You left me with no time. Are you I am working. I'll be there in San Jose. Damn. I leave tonight. For more Ariel and the bad guy, sign up now for ESPN+.